So I'm going to assume that you've watched all of the photo videos and that you've collected every single photo except for these last two right here, which are both from the final boss of chapter 8, and they are not used for anything. After you get the Flotsam Revived photo and you have everything else, there's only two missing photos. So when you're only missing these two photos, you can make everything. So make sure you've watched all the videos and gotten every single missable and non-missable photo so that you can actually do this. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 43 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. We are getting the trophy, A True Visionary, in this episode. So, we are going to make every single invention in the game in this episode. I am using the PSN profiles list for this. So, I'm just kind of letting you know that I'm basically just following their list since they already have all the information for making every invention in a neat little list. So, we're basically just going to follow what they have in order. And if you just type in Dark Cloud 2 All Inventions, into Google, you'll end up with their site. They're the ones who made this list. I'm basically just using it. Since I'm making a walkthrough for this game, there's only one real way for me to make all the inventions, and it wouldn't really make sense to figure out every single thing by myself. So, basically I'm just making an alternate way to view the stuff. Some people learn better with visual and audio over just reading. We are going to do it in order. Some of the things here we've already made throughout our playthrough, but we're just going to do it anyway, just so you know every single thing that needs to be done. So we're going to start off with a wooden box right here, and that'll make us the aquarium. Up next is going to be clock, and then the gold store. Third will be the show window. That makes us the Bandit Brassard. Next we're going to use the fountain, the phone, and the tree. That makes us the Bell Trigger. Alright, up next is Pot, Candle, and the Weapon Shop sign, and that'll make us the Bomb, which we've already made. Alright, so next we are going to do Wheat Flour. Polly's Bakery sign, and we are going to do the fireplace, which is right here, and this will make us bread. And next we're going to grab the manhole, the post, and the old style robot. This will get us the cannonball arm one. Next we're going to do the post, we're going to grab a rock, and then we're going to get the constructor. This will get us the cannonball arm too. Next we're going to make the caterpillar. You need car, cart, and the wheel. And this will make you the caterpillar. So we're going to use cup, paints, and parasol. This will get you the clown body. We're going to use the egg, the scale, and clown robo's attack. This will make us the clown foot. Clown robo attack. Pipe. And the parasol. This will make us the clown hand. You're going to want to grab cloth, parasol, and clown robo attack. This will make you the clown shoes. You're going to want to get tree, belt, and barrel. This will get you the energy pack barrel. So next up is belt, milk can, and pipe. And this will make you the energy pack. You should have made this during the, during the tutorial of the game. You're going to want to get bone, letter, and pot. This will get you the gift capsule. Next is chimney, egg, and fountain. 
This will get you the grenade launcher. You're gonna wanna get fence, old style robot, and the trash can. This will make you the iron leg. Next you want the moon, shield, and belt. This will make you the night boots. Next you're gonna want candle, a flower, and a rock. This will make you light speed. You're gonna wanna grab boat, tree, and tiny hammer. This will make you the swan. Grab waterfall, fountain, and bottle. This will make you the tasty water. Get fountain, the wrapper, and tree. This will make you the trumpet gun. Get ladder, constructor, and cloth. This will make you the work shoes. You're going to want to do clock, Jirax eye, and the morning sun. This gets you the most useful thing in the game. No, I'm just kidding. It's just an, an anti-petrify amulet. You're probably never going to use that. <laughs> Next is barrel and mushroom. This will get you the barrel cannon one. With a jurac, cloth, and bone. This will get you the bone rapier. You're gonna want a milk can, wheat flour, and find the golden egg. This will make you the double pudding. This is actually a very good item. And you can make it pretty early on in the game as well. Next is candle, coal, and then egg. This will make you the improved bomb, which we've already made. You're going to want to get chair, cloth, and the Guillermo's yell. This will get you the leather shoes. Yeah, it works. A cow screaming makes you shoes, apparently. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> You're going to want to get the Lafricia stem, river, and fish. This will make you the lure rod, which we have already made in our playthrough. You're gonna get the holy emblem, saint's writings, and hmm, jurac. This will get you the anti-curse amulet. You're gonna get bed, the Dell clinic sign, and the holy emblem. This will make you the antidote amulet. Laundry, waterfall, ruler of the pond. This will get you the anti-goo amulet. Well, fountain, we use fountain a lot. Barrel. This will get you the barrel cannon too. River, and the well. This will get you the bucket leg. Warehouse, trash can, and the mailbox. Say cheese. This makes you the bucket pack. Moon crystal, post, and the constructor. This will get you the cannonball arm three. This next one's very useful. We'll get the cafe sign. Lao Chow's trademark, and the milk can. This will make you cheese. Parasol, scale, and clown robo's attack. This will get you the clown arm too. Waterfall, runaway dragon, and cloth. This will make you the dragon shoes. Bottle, holy emblem, the sun. This will make you holy water. Runaway dragon. Rifle. And fan. This will get you the machine gun arm one. 
fountain for the 30th time. <laughs> the moon. And moon crystal. This will make you the magic gun. Peeping pool. Milk can. Chimney. Say cheese. That makes you the milk can body. Mushroom. Rotating sign. And the wooden box. This will make you the missile pod one. Star glass. Monument. And the clock. Yeah, it works. That makes you the non-stop amulet. This next one's very helpful too. Pork dumpling. Special peeking duck. And burning dragon fire. This will make you premium chicken. Wheel. Rotating sign. Freight train. This makes you the roller foot. Barrel. Crescent shaped light. Weapon. This will make you the samurai arm. Telescope. Crescent shaped light. And Cedric's shop sign. This will get you the samurai body. Hansu, Hansun Silk Flag, say that ten times fast. And Horn. Spinning Ivanov. This will get you the Sandbreaker Sword. Star Lamp. Rock. And the Constructor. And that will get you the Smash Wrench. Laundry, palm tree, and waterfall. This will make you soap. You're gonna want moon crystal, pumpkin, and parasol. This will make you the spike boots. This next one's very helpful. Bottle, Chinese lantern, and King Martin. This will make you the stamina drink. This is basically an essential. Phantom Memo Eater. Firehouse. And Chimney. This will make you the Starbreaker. Grass. Tree. And Charging Ram. This will make you the Wise Owl Sword. An extremely overpriced sword in Dark Cloud 1. Yeah, it works. Hmm, Jurak. Wooden box. And giant Yorta tree. This will make you the wooden box body. Barrel. Water tank. And waterfall. This will make you the barrel cannon 3. Belt. belt car. And the System 5 WP2. We've already made this. It's the buggy. It's basically the motorcycle leg. It's very quick. Rock. Egg chair. And constructor. This will get you the cannibal arm for the ultimate cannibal arm. Say cheese. Still not particularly good though. <laughs> An air cleaner. Belt. And vacuum. This will make you the cleaner pack. Clown robo attack. Work arm. And flag. This will make you the clown robo arm three. Dresser. Gold store. And work equipment. This will make you the cubic hammer. Papa Chingala. Night stalker. And the rifle. This makes you the Dark Viper. Windmill. Fan. And the Auto Book Reader. This will make you the Drill Arm 1. Light of the Luna Stone. Palm Tree. And Tiny Hammer. 
This will make you the flamingo. Work robot, post, and barrel. This will make you the hammer arm one. Fan, telescope, and windmill. This will make you the machine gun arm two. Wooden box, symbol of the Luna Lab, and fountain again. This will make you the missile pod arm too. Say cheese. Deer horn, post, and work robot. This will make you the multi feet. Windmill feather, fan, and cart. This will make you the propeller leg, which we've already made. Fountain again. Neo projector. And brave little Linda. This will make you the question shooter. Traffic light. Small generator. And refrigerator. This will make you the refrigerator body. Wheel, pipe, and air cleaner. This will make you the stinger wrench. Gold store, searchlight, and work equipment. This will make you the super alloy body, which we've already made. Windmill feather and tree, and special peaking duck. This makes us the turkey. Not an actual turkey. Work equipment, charging ram, and rifle. This makes us the wild cat. Belt, weather vane, and windmill feather. That makes us the wing boots. Alright, windmill feather. Parasol and cloth. This will make us the wing shoes. Geyser. Tree. And the fire squall. This will make us the albatross. Say cheese. Fire squall. Barrel and air cleaner. This will make us the barrel cannon for the strongest barrel cannon, which is actually an okay weapon. Say cheese. You're gonna want paints and power arm, which is right here. And then clown robo's attack. This will make you the clown robo arm for it's the strongest clown robo arm, but it's not particularly strong. Say Decorative lights and constructor along with computer, which is right, we went past it. Computer is right here. This will make us the digi hammer. Electric sesame. Horn. And the work arm. This will make us the drill arm too. All right, we got the lamp, the drum can, and the chair, which is right here. This will make us the drum can body. No, it's not particularly helpful. Energy pipe. Generator and pot. We've already made this, it's the energy pack urn. This is a good thing to have. Ancient Merle. Transmission device. Elevator, this gets us escape powder. Wither Jurak. Large crane. Hammer. This makes us the Falcon. K 
candle and cinders and oven this will make us the final bomb which we've already made hammer post work arm this gets us the hammer arm too next is pasnos power arm and drum can this will make us the heavy hammer we're getting to the good stuff now barrel energy pipe and geyser this makes us the laser arm one Propeller, rifle, and windmill, which is just right over here. That makes us the machine gun arm three. Yeah, it works. Now might be a good time to just kind of consider taking a small break and making an extra save. Don't overwrite the save that you had before doing this, but just make a new one. Maybe get up and take a walk and come back. Work robot, drum can, and belt. Say cheese. That makes you the metal boots. Deer horn. Generator. And gold store. Makes you the missile pod arm three. Generator, wrapper, and the sun, which is right here. This makes us the Nova Cannon one. The moon, the ultimate Gaspard, and bone. This will make you the Panther boots. Deer horn. Mushroom. Sulfur color juice. This will make you the poison wrench. Pasnos. Iron Maiden. And figure. This makes you the ruler's sword. Runaway dragon. Weapon and work crane. This will make you the samurai arm too. Transmission device, geyser, and energy pipe, which is right here. This makes you the soul breaker. Book, you probably guessed it, fountain, and work crane. This makes you the steel gun. The sun, the moon. And Electric Sesame, this makes the Sun and Moon armor. It's the best armor in the game for Steve. We made this already. Lunastone Shards. Work Arm and the Ixion, which is right there. This will make us the Drill Arm 3. Yeah, it works. Earth Gem Altar. Hammer, chimney. This makes you the hammer arm three. Crescent shaped light, energy pipe, and Ixion. This makes you the laser arm two. Wind gem altar, propeller, and drum can. This makes you the machine gun arm four. Gold store, Mount Gundor, and the fire gem altar. This makes you the missile pod arm four. Fire gem altar, the sun, and street light makes you the Nova Cannon too. We've already made this, but that's how you make it. 
Flower of the Sun, Work Arm, Deer Horn. That gets us the Drill Arm for Moon Column, Power Arm, and the Tiny Hammer. That gets us the Hammer Arm for Relaxation Fountain, Firehouse, and the Candle, which is right here. This will make you the Jet Hover. It's the fastest leg in the game other than the buggy. It's the fastest, easiest to use leg. And this is how you make it. We already made it. Energy Pipe, Relaxation Fountain, and Searchlight. This will make us the Laser Arm 3. Legend of the Moon, Energy Pipe, and Blue Lantern. This makes the Laser Arm 4. It's one of the best weapons in the game for Steve. Say cheese. This next one's very helpful. It's Sun Chair, Sun Table, and the Sun. And this will make you a level up powder. This is a very helpful one. And to actually make the level up powder, it's expensive. You need a diamond, an experience coin, and a final bomb. You can buy all of these things from uh, Morton, however. So you could just use the infinite money glitch, buy all these items, put it together, and make a level up powders. So if you want to, you, you could get completely maxed out weapons by never fighting a single enemy. Moon column. Stove. And the sun. This will make you the Nova Cannon 3. We've already made this weapon, however. Moonflower Palace. Waterfall Curtain. And Flower Chandelier. This will make us the Princess Boots. These boots are a 1500 DPS increase. <laughs> yeah, it works. I, I, I'm kidding. They don't actually do anything, but I personally like how they look. Fruit. Lotus Flower, and Hot Spring Spirit. This makes us Resurrection Powder. Stardust Pond, Mud, and Luna Stone Shards. This will make us the Ride Pod Fuel. Deer Horn, Moon Column, and Weapon. This makes us the Samurai Arm 3. Rifle, Flower Bathed in Light, and Elena's Portrait. <laughs> Elena is Max's mother, and this helps you invent the Sexy Panther, which is very weird. <laughs> yeah, it works. It's weird that Max would associate that with something called a sexy panther, but whatever. Gold, golden door, labyrinth door, and sun chamber gatekeeper. This will make you the treasure chest key. I don't know why they make you wait so long to get this. These are all chapter seven photos. Pot, light of the Luna stone, and flower chandelier. This will make you the triple urn pack. It's the best pack for Steve in the game. We already made it though. Flower Chandelier, Jirax Nose, and Rifle. This makes us the Twin Buster and Pot Torch. This will make you the Nova Cannon 4. <laughs> This is the true ultimate weapon. It uses only end game scoops. Legend of the Moon, Flotsam Revived, and a Surviving Soldier. And you guessed it, that's the Samurai Arm 4. Say cheese. Those are the best weapons in the game for Steve. Bottle, 
Dell Clinic sign. And well, this'll make the antidote, and that'll get you a true visionary. Say cheese. So this is what the list should look like when you're actually done. So yes. It'll actually be at 129. There's 128 things to make, but the list will be at 129 when you got everything. So, that's all for this episode, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.